Okay, hello semua semua and a very very good day. Uh, Alright, so right now at this moment I want to review back uh, the analysis that we made on May 2, start from May 2. So on May 2 at around 10, a, 10 8 a.m. So I give a forecast on the FCPO that might continue to go downwards, right? Uh, at, at here, you can see I stated that the movement of the FCPO on the session, uh, evening session on the Tuesday, just breach, I mean, just break is support of 3830, 3840. So, which means uh, this, this uh, breakout is giving us a signal that the continuation for the downwards is still going to happen. So, with, uh, with, Regarding this current resistance, support become resistance 3830 to 8840. If the price is trying to reach back to this level, so we can uh, wait for any price action sell that we can use to participate for sell sell signal. All right. Uh, so so yeah, let's move on to the actual 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 candle that happened on the day okay so we can see here okay this is on the day on the report i made so eventually the price going up going up going up the bullish candle so eventually after that there is a bearish candle bearish um bearish marubuzu so this one this bearish candle is close below the body is close below even close below the low of the previous candle so this one we know that the the bearish now is in control so afterwards uh, so then we can know the price continued through dropping all right so the price continued to drop so that's on the second may second may analysis analysis that been made so it is a success all right so we move on to the next day so on the next day we can see the price okay on the 3rd May 2024 at around 10 a.m. before the market open uh, we can see that uh, in the report I can say at this moment CPO has reject FVG or resistance at 3840 we can see it's reject 38 uh, 3830 oh, sorry this, this report 3840 so we can see that the bearish candlestick is in control uh, is in control but at this time but at this time it is at the fvg buy zone it is in tandem with uh, the support level resistance as has been broken here and this one has become support so previously i i mentioned we, we expect to have uh, to have to wait for a transaction signal sell at this 3830 and also 3840 right so 3830 already happened so 3840 we can see here, we can see here the candlestick already reached this 3840 resistance level and give this bearish, uh, bearish price action, which this price is close below this white candle. So which indicates that the bearish is in control. Alright, uh, but I believe uh, since this one is is making a higher high, so I believe maybe the 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 force for the price to go drop all the way to the BRNT 1800 is quite impossible to happen. Okay, uh, so this one, I mentioned if if on the morning the price can give price action for bullish, so I can mention I can see that the positive, it is positive for the price to break 3840 level to make another high high. All right, so we we look at the uh, exact uh, exact price that that happened. All right, okay. So this is uh, this is where the price is drop. I mean the the signal price action is trying start to to appear. So the price now drop 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 drop, and then this one this one we have fair value gap zone here. All right. We have fair value gap zone here. Uh, at this moment, we are, we are trying to look for the price action to buy, but there is not, no none none price action showed. So the bullish candles didn't didn't successfully to 
to penetrate i mean they did successfully to invalidate this current bearish bearish signal so she try to move uh, downwards so this one is there's also an heavy zone so it reacts to make the the upside 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 movement for fcpo okay so it makes another new higher high so we go to the report on this one is may 3 may so we go to the report on 6 may all right okay this one this is not the report lah. yeah i i, I mentioned okay the, the market is really really uh, strong uh, to the to uptrend movement so it is important for us to watch out at zone 3888 Three, three, triple eight, three, triple eight eh, at the moment, uh, and also maybe at the BRN three thousand nine hundred or this this particular level. All right, so we can see this is the analysis. So SPO, we can see it is moved to the bullish bias. So the structure is actually the high high, making high high. It breaks this high and makes high high uh, at the current movement. So what we need to watch is at the near the resistance level, maybe at this three three triple eight or maybe three nine hundred so we expect that duration might happen at this level so as a confirmation can wait for the reverse fat then to happen uh, so i also mentioned that this one we have fair value gap right fair value gap sell and then the price is the price is following the fair value gap sell and this one is respecting also this level so this one's trying to break so we we so i mentioned that this one is actually an inverse inverse is actually what inverse is a buy is a buy zone it's a buy zone so this one is a level that we can monitor also for for the participating to the bullish uh, bullish uh, bullish bias right so we can see the actual result so actually eventually the price going up and try to go down 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 and we can see here the price now is trying to reach back up and invalidated this current bearish movement and so the price continue drop continues rising continue rising reaching the resistance 3888 uh, but it just it just singgah di sana and then try to uh, move back and try to penetrate it back uh, so this one is, is still a success lah. Uh, all right so this one is uh, my analysis on 6 May. Okay, so we move on on to the 7 May. Yeah? 7 May, which is yesterday. Yeah? Yesterday. So morning members, SPO actually react at the inverse buy mentioned previously. So structure, we can see clearly this in an uptrend bias, making high high. So actually, I expect the bridge momentum is still continue. All right. So the price now is moving towards 3,900 plus level. So at the moment, I can see no sign of divergence. Divergence, let's let's say I'm using RSI, there's no divergence. I'm using also oscillator. There's no divergence that I can see if we want to counter the trend at the moment. So I believe the bullish trend is still continue. All right. So we can see what, what's, what's actually happened. So we can see here uh, the price moving uh, with the gap up and but it is moving inside way <laughs> moving inside because it is in the uh we can see he is res resistant no no reaction yet eh? no reaction yet to happen this one price trying to break below okay we we, we can see the the recent report all right <clears throat> so this one is still moving upwards huh? right and then for the current report that's been made so many members uh this one i made on usually i made before market open SPO is now have the potential to move in the sideway as uh, IDX indicator is goes beyond uh, below level 20 maybe sideway just like up down in the high range I don't know lah so uh, in, in at the at the price uh, we can see it is at average cell at the moment so basically we will participate for a bearish for the bearish uh, bearish bias so we can see if the gap uh, at this morning is above at the recent fvg so i actually expect that it have potential to go to the bullish bias but 
only at level 3950 because at previous previous uh chart pattern i can see that there is a reaction on this 3950 level so please monitor if there are any candle bearish that that happen to to uh to invalidate the current bullish bias at the moment and then if the price goes beyond goes down below than 3910 so i'm expecting that the price might continue to drop uh, maybe reach 388 or maybe to another fvg level all right so we can see the current uh, the situation that happens on the day so we can see the price is continue going up but this one i i, I expect that should be have a bullish candle a small bullish candle and then uh, and then exist uh, a bearish candle that can invalidate the movement but so far no so i can see this uh we are not not having any trade at, at this level actually because there's no no sign that i can see here uh, but we can see it is going up really fast and also going down really fast this one is actually we can call this as a v-shaped continuation uh, v-shaped continuation right v-shaped continuation so we we can expect that this the price might continue dropping when we can see v-shaped continuation here so we can see now rest at the fvg zone and then it starts to it starts to break here and start to retest back to the fvg zone uh, so we can see that this is a price action also where we can participate at the inverse zone all right uh, and then also at this one uh, we can see the price is dropping below to the brn 3900 so this 3900 will react as a support i mean as a resistance we can see the price is trying to reach back to this level and this candle has invalidated this uh, white white candle i mean this bullish candle so this one might continue to the price might continue to drop uh, so eventually uh, this is the current price right now uh, the price is also breaking the AVG zone and start to retest back and starts to continue dropping uh, so the the trend right now is indeed in and in, in a downtrend bias but so far right now we can see here uh, the the bullish now is trying to to control uh, we can see that that this is the price now is at the support uh, resistance 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 break out and become support so this one has become support so we can see that this is a price action uh, we can see this is a price action of a bullish uh, bullish that trying to invalidate this current bearish movement so i'm expecting that the current movement uh, the current bearish might slowing down and we are tr maybe trying to participate to the nearest resistance available maybe at this zone uh, right so right now we're moving to a positive bias to a bullish bias based on this current uh, current candlestick uh, this one is bullish is a uh, this candlestick is a bullish candle so we expect this this uh this movement right now at the moment will continue fast all right so i hope it helps and all the best and, and don't forget to give a like subscribe and also share thank you very much